This is our water maker. It's a good water maker. Anyway, what we have so far is we've had to basically build our water maker from the ground up and learning how a water maker works has been part of the challenge. So, this is what we have. We have a cap pump, 237. It's the expensive cap pump. It's got a, an aluminum head or whatever. This is our production water that comes out. We've replaced the computer with a T-valve. This is the brine and the overflow. And this is when we want to switch it to the tanks. And we're going to put a TDS meter right in here. This 12 volt electric motor, uh, 1750 RPMs. We got the new 12 tooth timing pulley engaged. And I built this to go here. It actually came with the machine. I sanded it all down. This will turn on our low pressure pump that we had to buy new. We don't have it in yet. And that'll turn on the electric uh, 12 volt motor. So that will fit there. So I'm fixing to put it together and we'll see how it goes. We began by mounting the fuse holder and the relay to the base plate. We then positioned the motor into place and marked the holes. We just needed to make sure that both pulleys were lined up with each other. When we were satisfied, we drilled the holes and bolted it into place. Next, it was the control box. It houses the two switches that control the unit. One switch will turn on the low pressure pump and the other switch will turn on the motor. A simple, effective, and inexpensive way around having to purchase a replacement computer. Okay, so now Justin has to wire it. We've got, god damn it. Starter, I mean the motor has to go to these fuses. He's gotta hook up that relay back there. He's gotta hook up those pressure switches. I mean the on off switches. And then we're getting close. Okay, so what we have, what we have, new booster pump. New booster pump. Goes onto its own switch bleeds the air off the system and feeds the high pressure pump. We have the high pressure pump pressure relief valve that's supposed to kick in after a thousand PSI. Got the new boards, got the new and motor all wired up and we're ready to go put it down there and try it out. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully it goes okay. All the way down. Yep. Ready? I guess. first run up with all the new equipment, we fed the supply with nothing but tap water, which would normally ruin membranes if we weren't already planning to replace them. But we had to try out the system before I invested any more money into expensive membranes. We flipped the switch, bled the air, and powered up the motor. But with only the tap water as the supply, the system quickly rose to 870 PSI just like it was designed to do. Now it's time to finalize the install and order the membranes. 
All right, well, I wanted to show the final, final install of everything that we've done on the water maker and how it looks now. And this is what we'll keep it as until we go into the water with it and then try it out for real. So this is what we're going to start with. Anyway, right. this is actually the feed water right down here. Comes up, goes to a filter underneath there. It comes to this right here. Valves open. This is the low pressure pump we had to get as a replacement because it's a continual low pressure pump. It uh, comes up here, it feeds this, pushes water into here, filter, goes into the high pressure pump. High pressure pump does its thing, goes through the membranes, and this is where we've changed everything. Everything goes through the desalinators and it comes out here to the TDS meter that we've installed as a replacement to the computer. And this is the other thing we added. They did not have a bleed valve line integrated into this um, filter, but that is the new and improved water maker. But that's it. You can place orders for catching water on our <laughs> website, Catch and Raise. But in the meantime, my Z brackets, shutoff switch, and six gauge wire all arrived and it was time to install the solar panels. We mounted the panels as far back on the hardtop as we could, so there would be as little interference with the boom as possible. We lined them up, measured twice, drilled the holes, and put a dab of 5200 at each location. We then tied all the wires together and ran it down to my cabin, where the battery bank and the control panel are both located. We attached the wires at their respective locations, and soon we were reaping the benefits of having a healthy solar array. Altogether, we now have over a thousand watts of solar power on board. It should be enough to run all of our refrigeration, navigation, and electronics, with a little to spare. Next time, we finally launch. What are you doing? I'm trying to film in private. I want to watch you then. Uh-uh. What? What's wrong? I can't feel whenever you're in here and watching me. So. I'm up here one more time before we put these up. Why? I'm never getting to do it again. Oh. 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 I saw them bringing a wheelchair that way and I thought, I wonder if that's for them. And I thought, man, it's gonna be wild.